Hi, I'm Matthew Tosh. Junk food science is all about understanding the science linking health with diet and inspiring discussion about ways of improving the nation's eating habits. The context for the junk food science news report lesson is set by a spoof TV news report about a fictional organisation called the British Institute of Eating Control, the BIEC, which is planning to ban anyone under the age of 16 from eating certain foods deemed unhealthy. You can find this video and many other resources to help deliver this lesson at the address on the screen. The news report lesson involves a range of discussion-based learning activities to engage students in thinking about the issues of food and healthy eating. Claire Caulfield and Alison Clough from St Bennett's Roman Catholic Primary School in County Durham are team teaching the lesson to a group of Year 5 pupils. We join them as they explore what the fictional British Institute of Eating Control might do. What I would like you to do is turn to the person beside you and discuss what you think this organisation is about. So like, they'd say like if someone was eating too much chips and things, it goes like say you should eat more healthy foods. What do you think you could do? I think something like that as well, because like it's like a company where they can go and where people can go and um, ask for advice on how to yeah. keep healthy. That's and actually a really good idea. And can we bring it back to the front? Okay, I'm going to take some feedback. What do you think the British Institute of Eating Control is? I think it's about like people who work for the Institute going into schools and encouraging children to go home and eat healthier foods, not having like snacks all the time. Is it maybe like an inspector goes into a restaurant and checks like what the bacon? Now onto the main lesson activity, where pupils watch the news report video and are encouraged to take notes detailing what the different contributors say. Now some breaking news, just in. The British Institute of Eating Control is proposing to ban under-16s from eating certain foods. They say that the cost of treating diet-related illnesses is now too high and action must be taken immediately. The videos were excellent. We didn't have to prepare anything. It was just there ready for us. The worksheets as well were really helpful, just saving that time that you would spend preparing them. They were easy, and then we could just change them to suit the needs of our children. OK. What did they want to do? What was their aim? Why did they want to do it? Pupils watch the video for a second time and then work in groups making notes of all the points they have recorded on a large sheet of paper. 50% adults in 25% children. Has anybody written down you need, um, you need um, like junk food for a balanced diet? Chocolate's just as bad as sweets, so no, you would just eat chocolate. But there's so there's more sweets. sugar. Sweets have more sugar in, in them than chocolate. Now they determine which of the points they've written down are fact and which are opinion. You may have to clarify the meaning of fact and opinion before starting this activity. What is a fact? True, like, subject. Something that's true. What is an opinion? An opinion is, like, what someone may say, but you might have a different thing to say. Right. OK, off you go. Get to Jesus. Is that a fact or a... Pupils go to the front of the classroom to explain how they would feel if the ban were imposed and parents could be fined £1,000. Let's have a little discussion with your talk partner. You'd be confused and very angry, like, oh, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Like, you feel a little bit disappointed because you've owned your money for um, to buy them sweets, and then it's just gone, and then you can't buy them, and you feel a little bit disappointed because now your mum has to pay £1,000. OK, year five. I'm going to choose some people to tell me how they felt about this, OK? Sam? I would feel like guilty because I wouldn't really want that to happen to my mum and dad and I would feel that I done it. I would be quite puzzled because I am um, like the day before that you would be thinking oh I can go into a shop and buy any sweets I like and then the day, day after um, the, Someone just says, oh, you can't buy any sweets anymore and I'm going to find you a thousand pounds. Now pupils are asked to discuss their own alternatives to the ban. Maybe 
one treat a week, something like a burger or sweets. Encourage children to take part in PE. And to the front, right. What solutions have you come up with? Corey. Uh, Monday to Friday, we could have none of them. And when it's a weekend, we could have some sweets. If it was Corey's idea, you could just go and spend loads and loads of money and make up for the week that you didn't get any chocolate. You no, know, like how in packets you get like ten sweets or something. They could like cut it down and just put in like five or, or three in. To finish off the lesson, pupils vote on whether they think a ban on junk food is a good idea. Green for yes, red for no. Whoa, we've got a big sea of red in year five today and we've got some greens, okay? So I'm going to ask some people to tell me about their decision and why. And I'm going to start with a green card because you're saying yes. Have your hands down, please. And can I ask Olivia? At a young age, you don't want to like, be like, really overweight. And, um, but I kind of disagree, like parents being fined. Right, some people had their red cards up and they disagreed with this. They thought, no way am I having this happening in my country. This isn't good enough. Why? Why did you think about this? Uh, Kitty? Because you need a balanced diet. And if, like, you don't want, like, like I said before, you don't want to just cut it out completely because you do need, like, it said, like, fish fingers and you need protein and you need, yeah, like, you need your energy and everything. All right, well done. Good work. I thought the news lesson went really well. I thought the children enjoyed it. It was something different for them to get, they seemed to get excited about it. It fits into the Key Stage 2 curriculum. In Year 3, they have touched on teeth and healthy eating, so they are aware of what's involved in a balanced diet. And then in Year 5, again, they come across like food groups, in, obviously in more depth than they have in Year 3, so it definitely fits into the Key Stage 2 curriculum. I think before that, they were aware of what happens to that, you know, putting weight on and things like that, but... I think they're now aware of, you know, an unhealthy diet can cause problems with organs inside your body as well. It's part of our science topic in year five, but also literacy skills, drama skills, speaking and listening. It gives the children an opportunity to add their little bit into the group. So it, it's definitely a cross-curricular link. I think they were really, really spot on with the scientific side of things. They were picking up on the different types of things that had been said in the video and using that to back up what they wanted to say as well. I think things like that, they really kind of kept within their thoughts and then followed it through throughout the lesson, so that was really good.